despite passing about 515 bills into law, a report by the Yaga Africa Center for Legislative Engagement has called committee oversight duties and lawmakers' engagement with their constituency in the 8th National Assembly low. The report titled Scorecard of the 8th National Assembly, which was presented in Abuja by the former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Atahi Rujega, urged lawmakers to engage more with their electorate and ensure proper education, uh, their functions and duties to the public. Professor Jega urged members of the 9th National Assembly to learn from the successes and failures of the 8th National Assembly in an effort to improve on bills passage, quality of bills passed, to reduce non accent by the executive and also effective monitoring of bills signed into act by others. Political systems in general and in politicians in particular it's never something that can or should be taken for granted. And that is the case in Europe, and it is the case in Nigeria as well. So when we look at the recommendations from the report that will be presented today, it lends a very important opportunity to reflect upon how can that trust be nourished and maintained and strengthened. This is what some would call a rights-based approach to politics, where the attention is always on the political system to be of service to the citizens. This is so vital, and it takes leading by example, it takes transparency, it takes reaching out to uh, the constituencies, it takes bridging the gap between the political elites and the people of the country, and it takes, by the end of the day, above all, delivering real tangible uh, results that provide better services, better rights, better options for uh, all the ordinary Nigerians that so much deserve that attention from the political system. The key question we focused upon was to assess the extent to which the National Assembly, the Eighth National Assembly, has lived up to its expectations in terms of the discharge of its core functions and responsibilities. Constitutionally, there are three core functions and responsibilities of the legislature globally, but uh, more specifically in the Nigerian context. This is in the area of lawmaking or legislation. This, the second one is on oversight, and uh, the third one is with regards to representation. So we focus on these three uh, key areas to assess the performance of the Eighth National Assembly. We looked at how committees of the National Assembly uh, have performed, how active have they been. And we found that very few were really active. And the few that were active, in fact the most active of them is the Appropriation Committee of the Senate and the House. But we also know that they are active precisely because budgeting is an annual thing and is a very demanding responsibility. And so that, to a large extent, explains the activism of this committee. A few other committees were also active, to a large extent, related to their core mandates and responsibilities. But many other committees were not active. In fact, there were committees that have never met. And obviously this is undesirable and there is need moving forward to uh, see how this can be addressed. And for members of the National Assembly to be able to discharge that core responsibility, they have to have mechanisms of key contact uh, and the engagement with their constituents whom they represent. Substantial majority of the people we engaged were not even aware of constituency offices in their uh, constituencies. And the few that have identified or acknowledged the existence of these constituency offices uh, actually said that they are not functional. 